All right, picture this. This morning, of all things, and Carlos, thanks for walking in just in time. I'm driving through Alamo Heights. I'm actually going the speed limit. I'm going through a, I'm going through a school zone. I see the blinking lights, and I know that I'm not speeding and I'm not texting. Police officer on a motorcycle comes up right behind me. Lights are going. I'm like, oh man. So I pull over into a parking lot. He walks over and I'm picturing, I'm looking at him through my side mirror, big guy. And Alamo Heights police kind of doesn't mess around, you know? So they, he walks up to the car. I have my window down already. Make sure that my cell phone is already sitting on the passenger seat. And he walks up, puts his hands on the window of my car on the, on the ledge. And he leans down and he goes, I bet you're wondering why I pulled you over. And he's chuckling. I said, yeah, actually, I was wondering. I go, I'm not speeding. I'm going along with all the other cars. Actually, I was around the car. And I didn't even have my phone on me because it's sitting right there. And he says, yeah. He goes, it's these new gloves. They're very thick. And I was trying to put the blinker on and somehow I turned on my lights. But I felt obligated. I, I felt... I felt obligated to let you know why I was behind you with the lights on. He goes, but thank you for pulling over. Have a great day. So I could, I could tell you I was sweating then and I'm sweating now. So I tell you this story to illustrate the point that when we make a presentation, we should tell stories because clients and prospects are going to remember details about a story. I remember a story that Tone told about going up to an attic to see if an AC or heater is working, came across a family of raccoons living up there, you know, and that was surprising. And I could imagine seeing that in my attic. And sometimes when clients can see what you're imagining or what you're telling them the story is about maybe another experience you had, for example, with somebody trying to get a mortgage and those kinds of things, what happens is they connect with you. And that audience not only connects with you, but they're listening to you. They're gonna forget all the stats and figures you give them, but they're not gonna forget the emotions that they're feeling when you're telling them this story as you're presenting what you offer to them. So the next time you present, Tell a story. Use words that they can imagine. Words like equity and fairness. People don't remember those. There's no way of image for those kinds of words. But walking along the side of your house at night and leaves crunching under your feet, you can imagine that because we've all been there. So if you want to be more effective in your presentations, make sure you do some storytelling.